One, two, three. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, what's up, reefers? A lot of things has been. <laughs> hey, what's up, reefers? It has been a while since I talked about the 150 gallon tank build, and a lot had happened, and I can't wait to share with you guys what has transpired. I'm super fortunate to have a lot of friends locally who are in the hobby, and basically all came in and just helped me out in one way or another. This, of course, includes moving the tank, drilling the tank, getting a sump trying to fit the skimmer inside the sump and deciding how to get some into the stand. So in the last update, we talked about how the 150 gallon tank finally arrived in my house. Again, huge thanks to all the friends that came out to help me move the tank. Come to think of it, it seems like uh, we have moved a lot of tank this month. End of flashback. So the 150 gallon tank has been progressing steadily. And I'm about to show you guys what has been done to the tank so far. First order of business is to find a sump that will fit this tank and stand. And thankfully my DC brother, DC Reefer came through and he got a sump that just kind of sitting around and he gave it to me for me to use. That is super generous of him. Thank you so much. With the sump taken care of, next was a skimmer. I have been talking to Vertex about possibly using one of the skimmer and it looks like it may be happening. And knowing DC Reefer has one of the Vertex skimmer that I want, the Omega 180i, I went over with the sump to make sure the skimmer will work with the sump. All right, so we're at DC Reefer's place because he got a Vertex Omega 180i, which is like the ideal skimmer for the sump. We're gonna see if it works. What's going on, Reefer? Man of the hour, it's gonna lift that skimmer, I'll lift that brand new skimmer. Yeah, so. Well, brand new new skimmer. The moment of truth. Um, we're gonna see if this skimmer fits with Moki's tank, Moki's son. So, y'all keep your finger crossed. Oh, it's gonna be a tight squeeze. <laughs> tight squeeze. Oh, 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 wait, I think if the probe is not there, what do you think? If the probe hold is not there, uh, you have to turn it this way. No, it's not gonna fit. Still not gonna fit? No! Oh man, it'd be second chamber then, right? Definitely fit in the second chamber. But now we have a decision to make. Because I was thinking doing like, um, just like a lot chamber for macro. I don't believe it. <laughs> She's gonna try to Tetris it in. <laughs> Yeah, don't don't break that. And then it goes oh. up to the 200 app. Okay. Which is um, it's like a, it's just a bigger version of that. I got you. But this should be one. Oh, yeah, yeah. So one, this is the 180 app. So it looks like a skimmer is going to be a really tight fit. Now the good news is that I was able to easily take out the probe, uh, the probe holder in the first chamber, so that opens up the area. Playing. Right now we have. I mean, want to give it a try. So DC Reefer, try not to scrape. Try to scrape it. DC Reefer, you just a hammer to tap it out. What if I pry it open and then you kind of slip the slip that thing in? Slip the, Here's the... That's my work. 
I don't know. What is this? I mean, it's smooth, so it should be okay. I think it just kind of yeah, broke out flat. I think we're good. Good job, babe. Good job, Emily. So the skimmer should fit, even though there's only maybe like half an inch of clearance on, on either uh, all the sides and that may not be a good idea because I shared a plan on Instagram and some of you guys said that uh, when the skimmer overflow, um, the water may splash outside. So I don't know, I may, I may leave the final decision um, till after I actually get the skimmer in hand to actually try it out at the different chambers. I could always use the second large chamber to hold a skimmer, but ideally I would still like the skimmer to be in the first chamber. The major milestone this month is actually drilling this 150 gallon tank. It was nerve wracking. I'm really excited because in my hand, we got the shadow overflow. This is a 16 inch version. And that is actually the first step of converting this glass tank to a full blown reef tank that's drilled. Originally, we were thinking about putting the shadow overflow right in the middle back like this. It blends in with the black background really, really well. Now, the plan has changed a little bit thanks to Mari because she sent me a picture of a shadow box. Now, I think I'm not sure what kind of paint this is. Uh, it kind of comes off really clean. You want to swing over here. Look at this, it just kind of peels off. To go through this jungle. Yeah, just like a sheet that comes off. Shit. Look at this. Really easy. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Ooh. Can I put it? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like, satisfying. Like oh, yeah. oh, oh, come on. <laughs> so tomorrow night, Telegram, my Reef Sensei, is going to come over to teach me and probably help me drill this 150 tank because I'm going to poop my pants if I ever drill this myself. So that will be the first step of converting this glass tank to a Reef Ready tank. The next day. For our That's the fun part. Yeah. Just sit down, right? No, 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 no. Don't slide them in yet. Huh? Okay. We gotta come down first. Go ahead and put it under Moki's. Okay. Oh, go all the way down. Yeah. Moki, go down. Okay. Drop it. Got it. Wow. All right. This way, Joe. Uh, I need to see it come out of the edge. Okay. Thank you. What? Yep. Slow. Hi guys, I'm Randy, and on today's BRS TV How To, I'm showing you how to install this ultra low profile overflow box. Moments later. All right, guys, we're gonna start drilling. Mari's gonna help put the template on and position it. Mari, please. And then we're gonna try to use the Mystic Arts to drill the hole first. Okay. Don't press down, right? Just don't press down. Press down. I would put your hand like this. Okay. And just, just oh, sorry. sorry, just grab it. Okay. A little bit. It's gonna want to speed up. Don't let it. Okay. Yeah. Here's okay. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Okay. People demand they want to see your beer. They want to see. <laughs> <laughs> epic, epic beer. Show them the beer first. Hold on. Man. Can we do it? Do you put like Christmas ornaments? No, because I know some people do. <laughs> yeah, hook me up. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, alright, fire it up. This guy is his own YouTube channel. Now I got this. Like, bubbly water in my. <laughs> alright, oh, wait, wait. He's the one that uh, saved the Space Invader. Ooh. You guys know that. Some of you may know. Yeah, and super the, happy too. What I always say like, Jim, Follow his Instagram. Right What's your Instagram? Telegram. Yeah, oh. Telegram. What was it again? Ooh. Telegram. What was it again? Telegram. So happy. Why are you laughing? <laughs> And when you want to Chris Spy said, look, look at, look at the appropriate way for jumping in at the end to steal the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, games, oh my god, kill stealing. 
Yeah. Or, you know what? You know what? Andy tells me do you or the closer, <laughs> pretend that he did the whole thing. Why can't you do the closer? <laughs> Oh, you ended the video. So it's like, mmm, mmm. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, cut the middle it. part. No fame and go. I don't want to like well, let people know. see me breaking yeah, this tag. <laughs> now you're gonna want to do this. Don't let it do that. Just try to keep it right there in the middle. Stand like this. Man, yeah. reef, reef by. Thanks, man. Not more embarrassed. That's gonna do it. But, you know. I can say that. I was like, all right, and go ahead. Slow or. What does that mean? I'll tell you what. Just slowly. 2,000 years later. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. It's like kind of bulge out. Yeah. Careful with your finger, though. You can push it down or up, either way. There's a lot of tapes down there, so. Oh, oh it's taped in there. It's taped. It's taped. <clears throat> Everything's covered in soap. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys, Katie Fine. Oh, thank you. Oh, Who did that? Uh, by Belfreak. Hey, Belfreak, right? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Yo, thank you so much, man. He said, when a man loves a woman, he lets me build this 100. Ah. <laughs> Well said. That's a good one. Beautiful. All right. Ooh. There it is. Nice. That one's cool. Well done. That looks good. Well done. You can see rings. Yeah. I killed the guy. He's the one in the picture. 66.3. That looks perfect. Wow. Dude, this is a perfect fit. Let me. Mr. J. Just a little bit of space. We can tilt back. This is nice. Tell me what did you do today? Uh, <laughs> I kind of held a camera. Sometimes it takes a little personality to go like, no one to go in, when to pull out. Right, you know, right. It's, uh, yeah. Good job. I feel accomplished. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna do it again so you look better. I got it. Can you serve? <laughs> serve. Oh, I don't know. Well, we can right. serve. Hold on. Can you serve his face? Alright, here's a deep squat right here. People, if you're watching, gym time. Alright, come on. Let me go count. Ready? You count. One, two, three. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Don't set it on the base. Okay, that's another trend. Oh, ow, ow. Okay, this is the first time you lift the tag. <laughs> okay, yep, there you go. All right, that's the groove. Take a break, take a break. Fix your pants. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Whoa. Water you good? Do you need some water? Yeah, water. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You want to feel burnt. Slide in, right? Yep. Oh. Oh, oh, people put us there. There we go. Yeah? Ooh. Thank you, sir. Excellent job. Ooh. That was dicey. It's kind of like it happened. It was like. <laughs> that was good. Really nice. He needs some milk. <laughs> what? <laughs> milk? Some C4. Yeah, so plan is to scrape the back. Uh, we'll install a kind of like a wooden box in the back and we'll put some uh, sheets of acrylic and a light shining on it. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it looks. Yeah. You start drawing. You got two dollars from Brian's Aquariums for a gym membership. <laughs> right now it's what? Almost nine o'clock. Thank you for tuning in for close to an hour. Massive, massive thanks to Mr. Jim right here, mm -hmm. Mari right here, mm -hmm. Emily right there, and then behind the camera we got Joel. You gotta spin it around. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. See you guys later. Okay, we're gonna end this really quickly, or it's really okay. embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, finish.
Okay. Thank you. Oh, your live stream endings are so funny because she's doing it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, is this end it? <laughs> this looks really good. Try to end it, but... <laughs> I thought you did it on purpose. Yeah, alright. I'll post it. That was a good one. That was fun. That worked out fine. It's a two-step process. I was, I was kind of worried. I was like... Oh, oh, oh. You're a <laughs> Really? Ah, when you went down, I'm like, oh no. It's too deep. I'm not going again. <laughs> End of flashback. You know, I'm just so glad that Telegram's here to take over because I have no idea to how to even approach drawing a tank. And uh, he did it like a pro and with no pressure because he's just drawing in front of like 150 people watching, that's all. And as you can see, the Shadow Overflow, this is a 16 inch version, uh, went on without a hitch. It is not installed yet, it's just kind of hanging in there. Um, and the reason it's not installed yet is because we're figuring out, uh, or I'm trying to figure out the plumbing for the 150 gallon tank. And as some of you guys have called out on the live stream, we actually forgot to drill for the return as well. <laughs> I totally missed this. So that's something that we need to do next. And um, I've, I'm thinking the return should go on the side glass as well. Uh, you may be under asking, so in a proper briefer, how come you're not putting all these things in the back like everybody does? Well, that is because I'm trying to do a shadow box on this tank. Now for those of you who are not familiar with what a shadow box is, it's essentially a wooden box that stands out a couple inches and um, we're gonna have like a blue piece of acrylic, right? With a LED light shining towards the blue acrylic uh, to create almost like an infinite blue, the infinite blue illusion. So in terms of what's next on the 150, we're gonna drill for the return line and then we're gonna start looking to plumbing. Um, that is something that I have zero experience in. So I'm doing a lot of research and I'll be reaching out to a couple of you guys to ask for advice. At the same time, we also gotta figure out how to get the sump into the stand. Because on initial try, the sump actually did not fit into the stand because of the uh, center brace vertically and horizontally. So we will have to remove one of the brace, mostly the top brace, and slide the sump in and then put the brace back on. But this may also create an issue because like down the road, what if the sump leak? What if I wanna replace the sump? I cannot easily get the sump out unless I take out, the, uh, take out one of the braces again or unless I just kind of break the salt. Now with the stand, uh, Mr. Philly Pipes has really kindly offered to help me build a new stand. I'm really tempted to take him up on it, but I also thought it may be kind of awesome. Just use like a stock tank and stand and just modify it to work. Either way, really, really generous offer from Mr. Billy Pipe. Thank you, sir. For those of you who are not following Billy Pipes already, be sure to check him out. I'll have his link in the video description. Man, I can't speak. What the f All right, guys, so that is the 150 gallon update up to this point. We got a lot of exciting things coming up next. Uh, basically, we have to drill for the return line. We have to figure out if that is the sump we're gonna go with and how do we fit the skimmer into the sump. And then finally, we really, really have to figure out the plumbing. I have zero experience in plumbing. I have zero idea what the heck is going on. What does it mean to be like a bean animal style? What is a Herbie style? What are those? Are those like fighting Kung Fu moves? So if you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow along on this really fun journey together. It's gonna be a wild year. All right guys, I'm gonna catch you guys next week. Have a good day. See ya.